Um, today I think I'm gonna do, it's maybe more of like my adventure rather than Adam's adventure, but it's still kind of like an adventure. So I'm going to speak about my experience of getting my copper IUD fit because when I went to get mine fit, the first thing I did was look at everyone else's experience. A lot of people have had obviously different experiences to me, which is totally fine, but it did help me to get and kind of figure out if I wanted it done and like if I got it done what would be the kind of struggles that I had. So that is why I'm going to explain my experience because hopefully it will help you to figure out why you want it done. So I decided to get the IUD fitted after having a pill for about since I was about 13. So that was about 10 years ago I started taking the pill. It was because I basically had really really bad period pains like it was getting to a point where I wasn't able to go to school at the time because I was just stuck indoors it was so sore the doctor then suggested me to get the pill which was fine and I've obviously up until before I got the coil fitted I got different kinds of pills so I went through all different I think I went through every single one and then the last one that I was on I finished in December and it was fine but I felt like I needed something different and um, I was getting to a point where I wasn't remembering to take it. I had really bad migraines and I wanted to see if something could be done about that and obviously I'd been to the doctors about my migraines before. They basically just said it was migraines and they gave me like medication for it but when I come off the pill I haven't had a migraine since. I don't know if that's a coincidence or but I think that was personally down to the pill. So yeah after speaking to my doctor about changing my contraceptive I decided to get the copper coil fitted. There is different ones but I went for the copper one because it doesn't have any hormones in it and that's what I had in my pill and it kind of worked because I just, hormones do not agree with me. <laughs> so yeah, I went for that and I got, it took about a month till I got it actually fitted. So by the time I agreed to get it done, the doctors then took about a month to like book me in. Um, Obviously our doctors is a lot busy. I don't know if your doctors are busy, but with ours you need to have like a doctor and a nurse to get the coil fitted so we had to wait until we could get both in the same room kind of thing so before i go on any further if you are squeamish don't like blood don't like talking about certain situations um such as getting the coil fitted then either stop watching the video or just skip along a little bit <clears throat> because i am going to go into some detail on when i got it fitted because that helped me to decide whether i wanted it fitted so yeah, skip or come off the video. So obviously the day came that I was getting the coil fitted and the nurse took me into the room. And then, so basically she sat me down and gave me this like sheet, which I actually think I was meant to have before I went into the actual appointment because it said things like take ibuprofen before the appointment like an hour before and that I should have ate well obviously I didn't want to eat anything because I felt like I was going to be sick like I didn't feel well at all that morning I was so nervous so I didn't eat anything and I didn't take ibuprofen or anything because I never got told to take ibuprofen so I went in without ibuprofen without food you like sign it off just to say yeah like you're getting it done so then we had to wait for the doctor to come in so while we were doing that the nurse put me in that little you know the little cubicle they put the curtain around so I was in there took like my leggings off and my pants off and then I sat with like the little tissue on top of me so I didn't feel completely naked which was fine and the nurse just made like random conversation with me just to try and make me feel comfortable which was like fine but at the same time in my head I'm like shush so I can just concentrate on my own situation so the doctor came in and they basically just had a chat with me and then she got into fitting it <laughs> When she was fitting it, she basically had to measure, um, I don't know the right word, is it, I think she measured my cervix or something to see if the coil would fit in because you get like a bigger one and then a smaller one. So I got the mini version, obviously I've not got a big cervix or whatever she was measuring. <laughs> she put that in there 
and just had a little feel around and then went back out and figured out what coil to put in which was fine it was like uncomfortable but it wasn't sore it's kind of it was kind of like getting a smear done it was kind of just sitting there not feeling very comfortable because someone was moving about in your bits but um, yeah she did that and it was fine after that she decided that it was time to put the coil in i had read a lot of reviews obviously before getting this done and was told it wasn't sore um, it was a bit uncomfortable my experience was a lot different to what i had read i'd kind of gone in thinking oh it'll be a little bit uncomfortable maybe a little bit nippy so she put the is it a speculum it's like a metal thing that opens you up basically. I'll see if I can find a picture and put it in here somewhere. Um, don't let that put you off though <laughs> because it is quite like a big instrument type thing but it, it's nothing. So she put that in there basically to open you up just so she can put it in. She said to me there's going to be like a slight cramping and I was like that's fine like I'm used to that. You get period pains all the time. Well it was nothing compared to what your period pains are. This was agony. I remember like laying there, I just got a massive sweat. I just felt really sick and it was, oh my God, it was so sore. So I don't know, it probably isn't the same for everyone, but for me, it was agony. And that pain kind of lasted for the rest of the day. And then a couple of days after, it started to ease off, but it still lasted for a couple of days. So prepare for that just in case it happens i know a lot of people it didn't happen with them and it was just a little bit uncomfortable but for me it was really sore before when i was on the pill when i was about 13 14 i used to as i've said get really bad period pains it was kind of like that where i just wanted to curl up into a little ball and like cry <laughs> so yeah that happened and then she said just two seconds after a little bit more cramping and again flush of heat felt like i was going to be sick it was agony and I was so glad for it to be over. Then afterwards, after she was done everything, she kind of took the spatula or whatever I called it before. <laughs> and then that was it kind of thing. She explained that you can like feel the strings and all that. And then to be honest, I wasn't really listening because I was in so much pain that I just wanted to leave. Thank you nurse for trying to make me feel more comfortable, but no. <laughs> so anyway, I left and then I headed home. So for the rest of the day, I kind of felt like I was in agony. I had uni, got it fitted at half eight and I had uni at 12 and I literally did not move my, from my bed. So the overall appointment took about an hour. Like by the time they like went through the procedure, told me what was going to happen and then I actually did it. So yeah, it took about an hour and then I just kind of went home. But I was just in so much pain the rest of the day. Like it was just like extreme period pains i can't even describe it i was getting like hot flushes i had period pains i just did not feel well so i just lay in my bed with a hot water bottle and some ibuprofen it didn't really settle at all that day it did last about two or three days before it actually started to calm down so i was pretty much in my bed for i think it was in my bed for the tuesday which is the day i got it fitted and the wednesday and then the thursday i had uni i was off the tuesday wednesday thursday because like it was just so sore like I didn't want to move I literally just wanted to curl up in a ball with a hot water bottle ibuprofen and just sleep it was just sore so that's something they probably don't tell you when you're getting it fitted or before you get it fitted they say it'll be like a slightly bit agony and a lot of people I've read they'd said like yeah it wasn't as sore as people had made out to be which is fine but for me personally it was agony <laughs> days after and it was starting to like settle which was fine you kind of didn't notice it was there I had my first period type on the day it was done but I actually think that was just bleeding from it actually being done but it lasted like a period so it lasted a couple of days but it wasn't heavy or anything it was just like sore <laughs> I will move on to after I've had it fitted. So I now had it fitted for almost two months. And in that time, it's actually been okay. Like there is, like I do get period pain sometimes, but it's not as sore as like the first time I got it done. But you just take ibuprofen and it settles or you take a hot water bottle and just kind of go to bed and it'll settle. The only issue I've really had with it 
is I've had like really bad pains in my stomach so well like my lower stomach and so I went to the doctors about that and they gave me I don't know what the medication was called but basically I had like a slight infection it settled it's kind of fine uh, I've had periods every two weeks which is kind of disappointing because I am so used to with the pill I just I was constantly taking it like I didn't stop for I think it's like seven days you stop for but I'd never done that because of other things so my doctor advised just to like continuously take it so because of that my periods I either didn't have one or if I did have one it would last like two days so these periods now are every two weeks and it is lasting well this one has lasted seven days so it's quite disappointing and they are if you're not used to heavy periods my periods are so heavy and i'm not used to that because obviously i never used to get periods or if i did they were very light so i'm not used to that so that is something you should probably take into consideration if you are getting it fitted it probably will make your periods heavier i know a lot of the videos i've watched and um, which you will probably watch as well if you're watching this one and looking for information about the coil is that your periods do get heavier and i was on the copper coil and there is different ones so they sometimes have different like side effects and different effects to them this one for me it has made my periods a lot heavier so that's probably something you should take into consideration so i hope that has kind of cleared up my experience and helped you maybe decide on yours overall it isn't actually a bad thing like i've got the five year one and it it'll last five years so i don't have to get up every morning and take a pill or i don't have to go to the doctors every so often and get an injection or get the implant put in so far I haven't put on any weight <laughs> which is quite good I've actually lost weight but I think that's just mainly because I had a weird feeling the pill was making me put on weight obviously that's not apparently scientifically proven but for me as soon as I come off the pill my weight started coming down and I've lost over a stone since I've come off the pill so whether that had anything to do with it I don't know or whether it's just because I've not been eating as much because I was in agony <laughs> I'm not really sure but yeah I've not had any kind of side effects like that just the pains which was like the massive side effects thank you for watching this video um subscribe if you want to watch any of our actual adventures this was kind of my adventure and to click the like button if it's been helpful or if you have enjoyed my video see you later